I mean, he does the deep voice, it's like a whole other person. Yeah! What's going on, guys? K pop producer Ray Rockman here. As a huge fan of Shiny, I'm really excited to see what's going on here. The teaser for this looked a bit more aggressive than I would have expected for Onu, which makes me very intrigued as to what he's going to be doing here. If you don't know, I've, I've been able to work with Onu once on a pretty small release, Japanese release, called Inspiration. I think it was more of a like a performance piece when he was doing shows and stuff in Japan, and they wanted to put a couple of Japanese singles together. Still cool, because I'm, the, the, Shiny's one of the groups that was very influential to me getting into this industry. So let's see. Turn this up. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Oh, he's yeah. It's funny, right? You, you can see the way he's dressed. He's got like kind of like an urban high fashion type thing on, and then you know the beat's gonna drop somewhere. And uh, yeah, I might know I'm stopping it so early. I just reacted to Taman too, and to add to what I said in that video, Onu is another one of the most recognizable voices. I think Taman is also one of them. There's not that many people that have that super just nobody sounds like them and he is he's one of them which i think is it's just unique it's, very, it's just great yeah Ooh. oh hold up that don't 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 is that like flutes like a like a filtered flute oh, oh hold up I gotta hear that transition. Yeah. Oh, footwork. Oh. Hold up, was he was he rapping? I don't know the last time I remember hearing him rap. His voice sounds so different. I mean, he does the deep voice, it's like a whole other person. Cool visuals. Man. Ooh, I like this shot. This is a fun song. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got singing, it's got hip hop. But, like, for him, interesting. Give us a dance break. That is pretty catchy. All right, he's doubling the post this time. Okay, so it's probably going to be a drop bridge, something calm. Because they went twice as long on this. Oh, we didn't get it. I thought he was going to go down. So we got a, a big bridge to keep the dance flow going. Okay, so it just went, it skipped having a down bridge so it would keep the dance vibe. Because if the song continued, it's only two and a half minutes, that's why. Okay, I didn't see that. So if the song was like a full size song, they would have had to go down to like an R&B bridge and then they would have came back. But to keep the song just fun and dancing all the time, they just cut the bridge out entirely. They went to the second chorus, they did a, a vamp out. They just added a section to the back end of that with a different melody to kind of keep it, keep it flowing. Very fun. I I don't think I've heard him rap before. That was fantastic. I, I mean, I can't remember hearing him rap like that. Oh, that's my little girl. Yeah. Come get a sandwich. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you guys.